Section 78 of Poems by Currer, Ellis, and Acton Bell by Charlotte, Emily, and Anne Bronte. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Libby Gone. Introduction to Selections from the Poems by Acton Bell by Charlotte Bronte. In looking over my sister Anne's papers, I find mournful evidence that religious feeling had been to her but too much like what it was to Cowper, I mean, of course, in a far milder form. Without rendering her a prey to those horrors that defy concealment, it subdued her mood and bearing to a perpetual pensiveness. The pillar of a cloud glided constantly before her eyes. She ever waited at the foot of a secret Sinai, listening in her heart to the voice of a trumpet sounding long and waxing louder. Some, perhaps, would rejoice over these tokens of sincere, though sorrowing, piety in a deceased relative. I own, to me they seem sad, as if her whole innocent life had been passed under the martyrdom of an unconfessed physical pain. Their effect, indeed, would be too distressing, were it not combated by the certain knowledge that in her last moments this tyranny of a too tender conscience was overcome. This pomp of terrors broke up and passing away, left her dying hour unclouded. Her belief in God did not then bring her to dread, as of a stern judge, but hope, as in a creator and saviour, and no faltering hope was it, but a sure and steadfast conviction, on which, in the rude passage from time to eternity, she threw the weight of her human weakness, and by which she was enabled to bear what was to be borne, patiently, serenely, victoriously. End of section 78